As I mentioned on yesterday's show, jazz vocalist Libby York will be performing at the Truman Little White House on January 14th and 15th. You do not want to miss out on this incredible talent, nor do you want to miss out on seeing this beautiful and historical home. Along with serving as a public and living museum, the Truman Little White House is serving our community in so many new and exciting ways. Paul, it is such a pleasure having you here with me this morning. Thank you very much. Paul, how long have you been involved with the Truman Little White House? Uh, eight years. Eight years. And Paul, you have brought theater to the museum. Yes. Uh, I was with the Waterfront Playhouse for about ten years, and then when I went to work at the Little White House, I um, saw the potential there for more and had known they did some concerts earlier um, like in the beginning of it with the like orchestra type things and all. So since I knew some other people, I, um, I did weddings and all of that to begin with there. And then when I did a dinner in the house one time, I felt the house come alive and I could just feel like how wonderful it would be. And having known Bobby and Carmen and how popular they are, they were a natural to start this concert series, which we call the Living Room Series. Mm -hmm. I think that this is just perfect, Paul. And now you've added Libby York to the lineup as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And these concerts are open to the public? They are. Mm -hmm. um, they're open to the public. In fact, we want them to come. The, we do them at, to also augment making money for the foundation, who is my employer there. And uh, that way we can continue to preserve the house and also open it up to the community so that they can see exactly what's there. The living room is where President Truman actually played his piano, which Bobby does play the piano. Carmen's bringing in one person who will use the president's piano. And we also, uh, they watch movies there mm -hmm. after their you know daily work and everything. Unless uh, Bess wasn't there, then they watched some movies and most of them went into the poker room and the famous po poker table is there. Mm -hmm. There is so much history in this home, isn't there? Paul? Yes, yes there is. People need to also take the tour of the museum because it's still serving as a public and living museum. It is, mm -hmm. it is. We do tours every day uh, from 9 to 5 and then uh, after we close we actually have to uh, take all of the furniture, basic except for the piano, out of the living room and with uh, Peter from Milan Event Florals, we transformed the living room into a 1940s nightclub. Oh, it's and it's very exciting because you can just feel like Truman would walk through at any mm -hmm. moment. Now let's talk about the piano for a moment. Is this the same piano that he did play on? Or is it, it is. Different? It is the President's piano. It was brought down every time on the Williamsburg, which is how all the communication and everything went at that time. He would fly in, but they would bring the piano in off of the uh, ship for him to play, and then it would go back with him, and because he used it in Washington also. So you really do get a taste of, of that true history when you see these living room series. Then. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's just um, it's charming because you know Bobby really does his history, mm -hmm. so it's almost like a history lesson with music. The first year it was Sentimental Journey. This year he's doing that, along with his new one, which is about songs of World War II. Mm -hmm. And Libby's doing hers. We thought we didn't want to compete with each other, so Libby's is more jazz and music of the tropics of the 40s, mm -hmm. which is, you know, what they would have been listening to on the radio back then. Mm -hmm. So it's really kind of exciting. I'm, I, you know, I'm anxious to get started, which we will next Monday. Okay. Paul, now you've been involved with the Truman Little White House for a while, as you mentioned earlier. What would you say is the most fascinating thing about the Truman Little White House? Ooh, fascinating me off. part of history <laughs> or anything? The fascinating part is that, and we hear this all the time, that people as they go through will um, say he was a simple man. It's just simple. It's not elegant. They expect it to be like a presidential elegant thing and it's not it's just very very nice you know simple. and yeah it's simple the yards are expansive we're actually the largest outdoor venue in town as we've become a venue 
Uh, besides the weddings, we're doing concerts. We'll be uh, doing a happy birthday concert May 8th mm -hmm. with Carmen Rodriguez and friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, to keep in the era of the 40s, I build her as one of Key West's most popular girl singers because mm -hmm. that's how they did it back then. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, get your tickets now for the Living Room Series. Please try and make your way to Libby York's show taking place on January 14th and 15th. Paul, I'm so happy that you brought all these ideas. Well, thank you. theater to the Truman White House. Well, Thanks thank you very much. Thanks for being on this morning. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I will be right back after these messages. Please stay with me.